Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dia, and uh, from the title, you know that I'm gonna talk about how to apply for your Georgia visa. And if you don't know that I actually have visited uh, Georgia in this August uh, 2023, and I have applied for the visa myself. So in this video, I will just show and share all the documents. What all do you need for this visa? And also, I have like vlogged my whole Georgia trip. What all places have I visited? How much was it? What's the budget? What's the itinerary? Everything uh, is in the Georgia playlist that is in my description box. Do check it out. And uh, I have actually clubbed uh, Azerbaijan with Georgia, so I have visited both the countries together. Like total, it was like an eleven-day trip. The Azerbaijan vlogs and also the itinerary budget is also up on my channel. You can check from the description uh, link below. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, this is channel. This channel is totally related to traveling, and I think that you will like the channel and the contents. So without other further introduction, let's start. So for us Indians, Georgia provides e-visa option. So you don't need to submit your passport or get any sticker visa. It's totally an e-visa online process, and it takes up to five working days. In my case, I got my uh, visa on my email within five days. And in the visa, there are actually two different processes. I have seen a couple of YouTube videos where they have only showed the first process and never talked about the second one. But that's not it. You have to follow like the whole process to get. And they have different set of documents that you have to apply on the first step and also on the second. Step as well. Um, so next is like how much you have to pay for your visa. So uh, as I mentioned, there are two steps. So in the first step, you have to pay twenty USD, and for the second step, you have to pay fifteen USD. Uh, I'm not sure if the second step, uh, like the amount has changed or not, but I have total paid is thirty five USD for the whole visa process, and thirty five USD is approximately like three thousand Indian rupees. And also for the Georgian visa, you don't have to uh, submit any flight, uh, you know, bookings. So you don't have to worry about it. If your visa is by chance get, if your visa by chance gets rejected, and your flight money will be wasted. So nothing about that. You just have to upload a different set of documents. So let's go step so by step. So for the first step of the process, you have to go to the official like e-visa Georgian website. I will mention the link of the website in the description below. You can check from that. Uh, so there you have to upload your photograph. They and the photograph they have a particular like. Uh, mention mention and they also mention like it should be a white background just make sure to follow all the steps like all the requirements that they have and other than that you have to upload your passport you have to upload like your full passport like the first first and second page and just combine all of them into a single pdf that's the only two document that you need like uh, is your passport and your photo and once you are done like you have uploaded this uh, it will take you to your email and you have to pay the amount and it will take you to the second step of the process so you have to go to the official georgian visa application website i will mention the link in the description box you can check from that so first you have to add the citizenship of yours and uh, next is the type of document like the normal pass passport that we have is an ordinary passport and next is the purpose of visit i have selected tourism and insurance just click on the tick that you have valid insurance and uh, also next uh, there is a list of countries that you have if you have any other visa from those countries uh, you have to select that Or other than that, click on not specified. Add the captcha and go to the next page. So here you have, uh, they have mentioned that in this, uh, like the first step, you have to upload your passport photo, and also they have mentioned that there are two parts. Like the second step is to complete your DU Verify website, as I have mentioned. And uh, once you click on next, uh, this is the date. So just add the approximate date which you are planning to go to Georgia, and also the visa will be valid for one uh, twenty days, and you can stay. Uh, Till like thirty days at a time in Georgia, and the fee also that they have mentioned is twenty USD. And click on next, and here they have a lot of check marks like you have your fund with you and all. Just click on yes on all. And next is the one where you have to upload your personal information, add your first name and last name as per your passport. Uh, next, add your date of birth. And uh, next, add like uh, your sex, male or female, and uh, your email address. So this email address is the one that you will get the link to, you know, pay and all. So just mention the email ID, your passport number, and the passport exp expiry date. That should be like more than six months. So if you're applying it yourself, the first check mark just keep it blank. And if you're traveling with someone like your parents, your uh, children, or your spouse, so in my case I was traveling with my husband, so I've just clicked on uh, spouse in this option and uh, just add his first name, his last name, and his travel document number, which is the passport number. If you're traveling with multiple people, you can add different person as well. 
next you have to upload your passport uh, so the f uh, passport first page and the last page should be together like just combine uh, those pages into a single uh, pdf and upload there and next you have to upload your uh, photo as well they have like multiple options like it should not be more than six months they have a wide background and just follow all of the rules and upload your photograph and next uh, you have to like you just have to like review everything is correct or not if any of the information is not correct you can edit it and once you click on verify it will take you to the next page and here here they have actually sent you the email so just go to your email that you have mentioned and they you will have a link so it will be something like this uh, it will show that you have to like uh, you know apply it within next one hour of receiving this email and uh, you will like get your passport within five working days and just click on approve so once you click on this approve button it will take you to the uh, again the visa page since like my verification is done or else you will have to pay so once you have paid it will show you that they have confirmed like they have received 20 usd and now they will send you the du verification link you have to click on the link and it will to take you to the other website and so in that du verify link we have to upload uh, your other four documents that i have mentioned in the, like the next part of the video and after five working days as you can see that i have received my visa and the visa looked something like this okay so now about the second step of the process it is done via du verify so they will send you a link that this is the du verify link for your application id you have to go there and you have to pay again like that is a separate payment which is 15 usd in my case it was 15 usd and from there they will uh, show you like the list of documents that you have to upload uh, like for example you actually have to upload your aadhar card and also uh, the aadhar uh, they will also send a otp to your mobile number just to verify that like they want to verify you know on the background that it is your other or not so you have to give the otp in that you verify as well so just make sure that it is a process for everyone i have done that too so i actually haven't uh, done any screen recording from the time that i had uploaded in the do verify but i have a uh, like a georgia basically document folder on my laptop so i'm just telling you all the documents that is there uh, which i think i have uploaded so uh, first thing is like your salary slip so if you are a salaried employee uh, just make sure to apply uh, upload your salary slip even if they are not asking so if, for example like in the do verify they are just asking for your aadhar and maybe your passport and maybe your bank statement and they don't have any other option but there is a separate option that if you want you can upload your other documents as well so in the other document folder you can upload a separate like a few extra documents which will just you know make your profile solid and that your visa won't be rejected so in my case i'm just telling what all documents have i uploaded so the first thing is if you are a salaried employee just uh, upload your bank statement so in my case i had uh, traveled in august so i had given four months like previous four month salary slip so just to make sure you know they're just checking that if you have you know a job so that you will be returning back to india the first thing i had uploaded is the four month uh, salary slip and the next thing is i had uploaded my bank statement for six months now they did they haven't mentioned that what is the minimum amount that you need to have in your uh, bank account like it's like fifty thousand one lakh they haven't mentioned anything uh, but obviously if you have more money your profile is more solid because you have the fund to travel um, so in my case i had uploaded like six months and i think i had an average of about like maybe two or three lakhs per month on my account but i had uploaded like the whole six month statement in a pdf format in the website and the next i had uploaded my hotel bookings in tbilisi as well so uh, just make sure just book a hotel on booking.com which has free cancellation and you can just upload the pdf the booking confirmation pdf into there as well and the next thing i had uploaded is my marriage certificate so again like if you're not married that is not needed so just this is again like just to make sure that my visa is not rejected this is not a mandatory one but i had uploaded my marriage certificate uh, so that you know uh uh, so that uh, like anyway i was traveling with my husband but uh, you know just to make sure that they know that i will be coming back to india but anyway i had uploaded my marriage certificate as well and i also uploaded my travel insurance as well so you can go to policybazaar.com and uh, just you know whatever dates you are traveling you can just uh, create like have a uh, travel insurance it will hardly cost you like 400 500 rupees now the next set of document that i am talking about i don't exactly remember that they have asked for it like there was an option to upload for it or i have just uploaded from myself i don't exactly remember but i think they have asked for that that if you have traveled to any other countries previously uh, so you would have the stamp on your passport right like uh, say if you have traveled to thailand you have the immigration stamp on your passport so just upload the pages of your passport uh, which has that like whichever country you have visited the immigration stamp so i had uploaded like i think i had visited maybe 
four countries before georgia so i had uploaded that also one other thing that i have uh, asked or maybe i had uploaded if you have any other sticker visa on your passport so i'm not talking about any e-visa because e-visa you get in a pdf document right but there are like multiple countries like for example if you have like us visa or different country visa that have a sticker visa on your passport so you can upload that as well so in my case i had uh, brazil and south africa visa those were uh, sticker visa that were there on my passport uh, the visa were already like expired it was not valid at the time when i went but yes those two uh, pages also i had uploaded and i think and that's it i don't think there were any other documents like even if they were there it was already like in the header they will directly ask you to upload the documents so you can check from that uh, but in my case like the extra document extra set of documents if anything i have uploaded this thing so just make sure just apply just upload you know at least the four months uh, your salary slip your six months bank account statement if you are married try to upload your marriage certificate as well and also if you have any travel to any other countries if they have asked upload those passport pages as well and yes that's the document i had uploaded so in my case like i have applied it myself i haven't taken any agent uh so i have just applied it like you know the it's a e-visa so i have applied it myself and i have also applied from my husband as well uh, so like both were applied like obviously in a separate uh, separately uh, but both of our visas were approved like within five working days i have received my visa and yes that's it about this video uh but again like i have heard that georgia visa like the rejection rate is quite high for indians but i'm not sure about that so because th this is the first time i have applied for my georgia visa and it was approved at like the first chance and and also georgia um, has a visa exempt for a number of countries like for example if you have a us, US visa a valid us visa or a schengen visa or like i think australia and there are like i think around like 15 20 countries they have in their website so if you have we already any valid visa for those countries you don't need any visa you can just take your passport and just go to the airport <laughs> directly that will do in the visa application process uh, you can see uh, that number of countries like australia schengen countries japan korea qatar uae uh, usa if you have any valid visa from any of these countries mentioned here so you can just if you want to you can just check select that country and in the next page it will show that you are exempt from visa that means you just need to take your passport and just go to georgia directly without any visa uh, so one more thing that I wanted to mention that if you have your visa and if you are traveling to Georgia, uh, in the immigration, they actually have asked me to show the fund, like what are fund do I have? So I generally uh, don't have like USD. I travel just with my card and I take uh, ATM, like I basically take out cash from the ATM. So uh, they have asked me to just show that my bank account statement. So once like it was before I got my SIM, so I didn't have any internet. So they actually like helped me how to connect to the internet, like in my phone and i had to show that in the app that this is my total uh, like account balance that i have and in the immigration and then only they actually have stamped so that was only for me though they haven't asked that to any of the other passengers that were traveling uh, with us uh, but just to like be sure uh, take out your uh, bank account statement in a printout or even like take a screenshot on your phone that this is the current account statement that we have that if they ask and if you don't have any like a usd with you you can show them that this is your current account statement and you have the fun to travel and uh, yes that's it about the video if you have any other question regarding you know georgian visa you can let me know in the comment section i will try to answer that and also you can follow me on my instagram and you can connect on instagram as well it's in the same name wonder with dia and uh, as i mentioned like the georgia travel itinerary and budget and everything is already in my description box you can check uh, i have done a similar how to apply for your azerbaijan visa as well and if you're planning to combine you know georgia and azerbaijan like i had done so i think my vlogs and this will help you to plan your journey and yes that's it about this video don't forget to subscribe and take care guys bye